In this video we take a look at Total Protect Professional Antivirus Solution. This is also known as Personal Shield Pro. I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample here and I'm going to be showing you how to remove it. It's pretty straightforward. So as I said this is a, a Windows 7 operating system and this is a rogue program. If I click on the Activate Now it will pop up a box like this saying that real time protection is off. If I click on this it will then take me to a paid page which will start off in Russian and then all suddenly turn into English like so. Don't be paying for this sort of software it's just uh, bogus and fake and it's trying to get you to shell out for something that's not worth the beans. It also puts on the desktop this little certificate and I'm going to open it up and show you what that looks like. This is the actual certificate what it's doing uh, totalsolutionantivirus.com and as you can see it puts in all the bumps in there, it's all bogus basically and uh, I'll show you how to remove it, it's pretty straightforward. I'm waiting for this to actually change into Personal Shield Pro so I can show you what it happens, it actually just converts and changes into it. Let's try and log off and log back on and then log back on Okay, so when I log off and log back on, now I'm getting this Realtek audio driver. This is fake. This is part of the actual uh, virus. You can click on this. Get some information. This is all bogus. I won't take no notice of that. And I'm also getting another box down the bottom here saying failed to connect to Windows service. There's a little padlock there. Okay. So let's have a little look inside the system find out what's what. So I'm going to go into programs data first and as you can see there's two folders inside here. This is definitely Personal Shield Pro I was talking about. There you go. That's already there. And that would eventually turned into this and come on automatically all by itself. And uh, once this has happened, once this uh, works like that, you can't actually access anything on the computer. It's pretty straightforward to remove those. So what we'll do, let's have a little look inside here. There's another folder there. There's some other bits and pieces. So what I'm going to do is reboot into uh, Safe Mobile Networking. You can't open anything up. I'll just quickly show you CMD, RegEdit, all the same thing. Okay. Now there is a way of getting around this on the desktop as as we uh, speak. I mean you can see here I've got a uh, UVK. This won't even run from this environment. Uh, if I rename this to uh, Wind Logon, like so. Now this is Process Explorer. I've just renamed the file Wind Logon. If I click on this, it should run. Okay, there you go. So if we can get you UVK working like that, that'd be great. So obviously, from here now, I could kill this uh, process off, which is this one here. Um, but it's always best to go back into uh, safe mode with networking, and I'm going to do that right now. So okay, so what we're going to do here is reboot the system, keep it in F8 on the keyboard. And once you F8 on the keyboard, you want to go into safe mode with networking. This is the option you want here. Let that load in. Okay, that's just loading in now. Once we get to safe mode, we should be able to remove it from that environment with, uh, with ease there. So I'm not going to do this one manually, but I'll just delete that certificate first to get rid of that. Now, a good thing to do is to run malwarebytes, programs like this, also TDSS killer and stuff like that, just to make sure you haven't got no other stuff on the system. Always update first, check for updates, get the latest updates, click OK, and go back to scanning, scanner. I always perform. Uh, a full scan 
but sometimes I'll do a quick scan first and then I'll do a full scan straight after if it's infected which we know it's infected so I'm going to quickly just run a scan here straight away we've got eight infections found okay so that's the scan now finished and it's found 16 infections there malware bites is great at removing these types of uh, infections so what we need to do here is click on show results and as you can see there's loads of stuff inside here that it's found okay we've got stuff in uh, system 32 files in system 32 um, registry values also other files inside system 32 area as you can see there we've got some uh, RTL driver which was that um, driver that is found inside the roaming folder and loads of other stuff as you can see we've got stuff inside the uh, temp area there that is found and there's a TDSS rootkit file that is found inside there so it's a very powerful tool Malwarebytes so what we're going to do is uh, remove all these like so it's just giving us a log here I'm just going to normally save these logs to the desktop so I can have a little look at them later on ok so just click uh, no to this for now I would say yes here I'm just going to click no because of the time element ok another thing that you want to be doing is make sure you scan with stuff like TDSS killer this is another tool that you can use always get the latest updates or update this I'm run that like so close that off this is the new uh, Kaspersky TDSS killer and what you want to do here is click on start and run a scan okay to make sure there's no other threats you can see here it's found a high risk going to cure that what you want to do here is uh, cure that okay you've got other options that you can use here quarantine skip cure restore okay we're going to cure this one now we're going to push continue here and it want to reboot the computer okay okay so we'll let that load back up to the normal desktop now okay so we're in the desktop now and I'm pretty sure that your uh, PC should be running a lot smoother now because that infection has gone but if it has got other infections on the system you will need to use other software to remove that uh, infection from the system now you can use free software like Hitman Pro that's a good tool for removing infections you get a 30 day trial there you've also got um, Komodo's Clean Essentials another good tool and it's also got a great tool there called Kill Switch there's also a tool from ESET System Inspector. This will allow you to inspect your system files to find any suspect files that may be on the system that you may want to remove. Okay, we've got Super Anti Spyware. There's loads of other types of tools that you could use, and also always finish off cleaning off your temporary internet files and stuff like that. Temp files with CCleaner, and make sure you empty your restore points and create a new restore point. Finishing off with uh, an online scan with Bitdefender or ESET or something like that you can do this for free and this will make sure that the system is fully clean okay anyway that's the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit the subscribe button show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them okay and I'll be making more videos in the future I hope this, in, I hope this helps you out thanks a lot bye for now